Hello and welcome back to Tree Tuesday. I am naturalist Katie and today we are discussing the black willow tree, Salix nigra. So the black willow tree can be identified with its grooved, very dark bark, hence the name black willow, and its thin serrated leaves. Black willow trees are most likely to be found where they can keep their feet wet, like places along streams and in wetlands. Black willows are dioecious, which means that there are separate male and female trees. So if you're lucky enough to come across a female black willow, you'll see their adorable little flowers in February and their gorgeous seeds in late May and early June. So their seeds are covered in long, silky strands of hair, which help them float far on wind and in streams, meaning that they can float far, far downstream and bed themselves into the stream bank to produce a new black willow. So black willows are important for many different reasons. They're beloved by multiple different types of butterflies as a larval food plant, including the eastern tiger swallowtail, the red-spotted purple, and the monarch mimic, the viceroy. They're also a favorite treat for beavers. Beavers love to chew on the bark of a black willow. Often when a beaver moves into an area, they're looking to see if there's enough food to sustain them. So a place like North Park, where black willow is abundant, is a perfect home for beavers. So you're probably thinking, well, if beavers chew on black willows, don't they kill them? Well, black willows actually re-sprout aggressively from any vegetative cutting, meaning that if there's a beaver chew or if the tree falls over, you're not unlikely to see a black willow sprouting from that stump. This means that black willows are the perfect candidate for stream bank restoration. So you can actually take a cutting of a black willow tree, shove it in the moist ground, and then a whole new black willow will grow from that. So this is why they're perfect for restoring a stream that has eroded stream banks. And if that's not enough awesome reasons to love black willow, another great thing about them is that their bark contains salicin, which is the active ingredient in aspirin. So say you're hiking after a long day and you have a headache, you can find yourself a black willow and chew on its bark. In fact, scientists have found that you're less likely to have the adverse effects like you would see with aspirin, like blood clotting, if you chew on a black willow's bark. And that is because of the naturally occurring flavonoids that are within the tree. So I hope you had some fun learning about one of my wetland favorites, the black willow, and we will see you on the next Tree Tuesday.